Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to use a standalone Puppet script to deploy the Centrify agent for Unix Linux and join Active Directory automatically. I get this question sometimes from customers and prospects alike. Um, if you've been following the, the blogs, um, I've shown you how to do it with a, a YUM repository. We've seen how to do it with a, a standalone chef recipe. But the key here continues to be the same. What we need to do is to retrieve a working krb5.com file, the key tab of an authorized AD user, and then install the package and run uh, the AD join command. The sequence continues to be the same. And what we're trying to accomplish is to add a system to this particular UNAD, right? We also want to make sure that this uh, system is added to a zone into a computer role called app servers. And, you know, ideally you'll be following along with the blog. This is not an, uh, an even patent uh, uh, configuration. Uh, I don't know anything about, you know, uh, Puppet Masters and all that stuff. This is just a, an illustration. It should be very simple for you to adapt this to your other platforms. What do I have? I have a CentOS 7 machine that is, uh, doesn't have Centrify installed, and I have uh, the YUM installation on queue for Puppet. Um, I also have my script right here, and uh, I'm going to just go ahead and say yes. And uh, you want to add a module. So I want to add the module called wget because that's going to make my life easier, and then I'm going to explain to you why. So uh, let's do a sudo, and there you go. It's already there. All right, so, so uh, what is it that I want to do, right? So I have a web server that um, that uh, already have my has uh, the utility files and also it's uh, you know the base the the base uh, infrastructure for my my yum repo right so all i need to do is run my my recipe and the recipe is very simple uh and it's actually not a recipe it's a script that's a chef terminology so in here um you know basically we're retrieving the files right uh, we're we're going going to install the package do a k in it and then run ad join it's a very simple sequence right so um uh, let me go ahead and do that. So I have my script already copied here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, it's an Etsy uh, puppet. There you go. So I'm going to just uh, do a sudo uh, and this will be a puppet apply for my uh, particular script and I'm going to do it, do it verbose. We're going to be looking on as we do it, right? So, um, you know, uh, as we see here, um, you know, it, this is compiled, so there's a lot of error or handling logic with the chef, I mean, with Puppet as well. Um, you know, they, they, you know, align with the DevOps or infrastructure as code philosophy. So if I look into Active Directory, maybe I'll, I'll refresh here. I'm looking for a CentOS 7 machine, so when things are done, I should be able to see a CentOS 7 machine. So um, let's take a look in here. So there you go. Um, it's, it looks like uh, it was able to do that. So let's do a refresh. Let's look at my servers. Notice that my uh, engineering CentOS 7 machine is there, right? If I were to uh, look at uh, uh, my zone, if I refresh here, notice that the machine is now in the computer role, right? That means that now I can also see who has access to this box, right? So if I needed to to see who has access to the box, I can just do show effective rights or generate a report. That's not a problem also. So the key here is, you know, um, Centrify provides tools for deployment with, within Centrify tools, uh, but also your fa favorite DevOps like, you know, Blade Logic, Chef, Puppet are already ready to go as well. So um, I'm publishing the code out there. It's up to you to make it better. Remember, I'm not a chef, uh, chef Puppet, or Blade Logic expert, but, you know, a little bit of will and a little bit of Googling around, uh, you know, and, and that curiosity uh, basically accomplishes a lot. So I'm hoping that this actually helps.